Tonight, in thousands of venues across the country, from homes to firehouses to churches, a scathing new documentary is being shown attacking the world's largest retailer and employer, Walmart. Not to be outdone, Walmart is promoting another film out tomorrow on why it works so well. It is the latest controversy for what has become perhaps America's most polarizing corporation. ABC's Jeff Morrell is in North Carolina. After 25 years as mayor of Belmont, North Carolina, this town's gonna miss you. Billy Joy was voted out of office because he campaigned hard to bring Walmart to town. I made up my mind. I, I was going. I was doing all I can for, for to keep this city afloat. Once home to thriving textile mills, Belmont has been struggling for years. Walmart, the mayor argues, is needed to revive the economy, but many residents fear it will destroy their small town. Still, Walmart won the battle here in Belmont, where this nearly 200,000 square foot supercenter is due to open in March. But the retailing giant is facing similar fights in nearly 50 communities across the country. And today, many of those communities are screening a scathing new documentary called Walmart, the high cost of low price. Walmart currently faces lawsuits in 31 different states. The ultimate aim of the movie is to get thousands of people across the United States and the world, ultimately, aware of what's going on and turn them into agents to change Walmart. The film alleges Walmart destroys mom and pop businesses, pays so poorly many employees rely on public assistance and discriminates against women working there. They've sat back and they've taken their lumps and they found out that it really has hurt them. Fed up, Walmart is finally fighting back, pushing for a higher minimum wage, introducing a new health care plan and promoting a documentary debuting tomorrow entitled why walmart works and why that makes some people crazy i personally think that walmart more than any special interest group has uh, benefited more poor and working class americans more than any other institution i can think of despite this raging debate walmart's low prices continue to lure in nearly 140 million shoppers a week Jeff Morrell, ABC News, Belmont, North Carolina.